Well, caught on camera, a hit and run crash in Northeast Baltimore. And tonight, the family is hoping that the driver will surrender to police. WJZ is live. Avidor Burnett spoke with the 15 year old victim's sister and neighbor. And Avidor, we do want to know how is he doing tonight? Well, tonight he is home recovering. This incident happened on Tuesday, and the family posted the video online with the hope that someone would recognize that vehicle. And then ultimately, the driver. We want to warn you that this video is disturbing. Home security video was rolling at the exact moment a driver ran into a 15 year old as he rode his bike along Helen Road near North Warren Road. It was very hard. That's my little brother, so it was, it was extremely hard. This happened around 3 Tuesday afternoon. Lanaya Williams says her little brother, Sheldon McCoy, was on a familiar route, a trip home from his grandmother's house. If I'm protective. It's been me and my little brother for years, so it's always just been us. So the fact that I couldn't be there when he got hit, it was kind of sad. In the video, the driver appears to slow down after the collision and possibly even stopped, but then kept going. His response was a lot of pain, you know, he was, he was an incredible amount of pain. Aaron Pack knows Sheldon. He said he saw the teen limping right after he was hit and wonders why the driver chose to leave the scene. Why did we are the people? Why didn't they, you know, come back and see, you know, the extent of what, you know, possibly could be his injuries? <laughs> The 15 year old who plays several instruments, including the bass at his church, is recovering at home. And his family knows this could have been much worse. If you look at the video, it kind of looks like he landed like on his, um, like on the front. So he could have cracked his ribs, you know, it could have been way worse. But I'm just, I'm so grateful that he's still with us. And police have not said if the driver is a man or a woman. If you know anything about this, call Baltimore City Police. Live at 6, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.